Hi there, it's Laurie at Positive Thanks Living. This is a video about finding your creativity again. You know, uh, where oh where is my creativity gone? Oh where oh where can it be? There are times when we paper crafters, junk journalers, mixed media artists, you know, all the, all the words, find ourselves without enthusiasm for our art. And sometimes our inner flame has gone out or we've dipped down into the well of creativity and, well, found ourselves scraping the bottom and there's only mud left and not the good kind of mud either. So how can we refill that creativity well? Some people call it mojo. Um, many times in the Facebook groups, we'll see the post that asks others about what to do to find your mojo again. And so to help, I've uh, mined all those threads and come up with a hundred ideas. Sure, some of them have small nuances, which could have been all lumped into an overall category. But you know what? Those small nuances are what make us all unique. So I've left them in the list, making it possible that you'll find that perfect little spark hidden under the ashes or um, maybe that little last bubble of fresh water at the bottom of your creativity well. Yeah, in a nuance. So there are a hundred ways to find your spark again. And I've written a post on Positive Thanks Living. That's where I write. And included a downloadable link. You don't have to do anything to get it. Just, you know, press the button. If you're interested in receiving more uh, ideas about creativity, about being optimistic and being filled with gratitude, I invite you to just subscribe at Positive Thanks Living. And if not, don't feel you have to subscribe. It's fine. Go ahead and go find that uh, 100 ways to find your creativity again. It's a PDF. So in this video, what I'm doing is I'm doing number uh, 25 set a timer for one hour and look through your old projects. That's the picture at the beginning of this video. I have a box. I keep all my crafting things in bankers boxes, mostly. And I just uh, decided that I'd just look through what I've done before. That's what you're seeing here. I completed this about a year ago, last March. And uh, yeah, it's been sitting in that box because it wasn't quite finished. You know, you want to add a tag here, add a tag there. So I'm just going through and thinking about what I like, about what I did and what I'd change um, over a year. I think my aesthetic has changed a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, this is, I don't know, it's a three signature um, journal. It's sewn and hand stitched and all bits and pieces you'll see as, as it goes there but my 25th prompt is to set a timer for one hour and look through your old projects don't do anything just admire your work go slowly notice all the areas in which your unique qualities as an artist show up and sometimes reflecting on uh, what we do and the craft the artistry, the enjoyment that we've had, that'll spark some creativity in you again. I found myself thinking about what else I could add to this project to finish it. And yeah, that's another one of the prompts, but I'll let you go over and, and look through the list. Again, you'll find it on my site, positivethanksliving.com. And the link will be below in the, in the description. Thank you for watching. And uh, I look forward to spending time with you. Please subscribe. And we'll have other ideas. I'm going to do other videos on this list of things. I'm just pointing out to you. 25. Number 25. Take care. I wish you well. It's Lori of Positive Thanks Living. See you next time.